how to import elements into Calibre. You can import from the studio with the import button. You can take a photo with the camera of the iPad. You can go to your photo album and choose what to import. You can go to your files and you can import an image sequence. From the files, you can also import Calipec files, .tech files that you have exported from here or another iPad. If I want to import an image sequence, I tap on import sequence. I tap on the folder made from a PNG sequence export with the structure. I tap open and then I can access that panel here and decide what folder to import. I could decide to just unselect some layers, select them again. I can select all. I can go into the files here and decide what image to import or not. But in my situation, I will just import everything. And then it will create a new shot containing all your layers and PNG files in alphabetical order. But in a PNG sequence, there's no data about the timing. So you will have to time everything again. If you want to get everything, including your timing, you have to export a .peg file and import it in your studio. And then it will be a normal shot with everything about the layers and the timing. You can also import an image sequence folder containing a JSON file. For example, if you export your animation from TV Paint as a JSON sequence, you can then here import sequence, select the folder containing a data.json file, open, and it will import your animation with all your layers, sheets, and timing. You can also import a PSD file from import files, select a PSD, open, then you have two options, import vertically or import horizontally. I will start with vertically. And then I have my PSD imported with my different layers and each drawing sheet will be one frame long. And if I import horizontally, there will be one layer for each layer group and one drawing sheet for each layer. And here I have my different layers. And if I had groups, it would have made different layers for each group. You can also import from a shot, either by creating a new drawing sheet, select with a double tap and import. So here I can just import one of my paintings. When you import, you can still manipulate transformation and then validate. You can extend and use it as a reference under your layer. You can also create audio layer or video layer and tap on import to import different types of files. And you can tap on the import icon here to import from your photo album a file or even a sequence. Here I can import my PSD horizontally. And here I have imported my PSD as one layer. If I import a video file containing sound, it will import two layers, one video layer for the video and one audio layer for the sound. But if I create a video layer, and import the same video, it will import only the video. I will have to create an audio layer, import my video into that audio layer, and it will import my audio clip. If I import a video with audio from my studio, it will create a new shot with two layers, one video layer and one audio layer. And the last way to import elements is to use the drag and drop. I can slide here, go to my photos, put it over, go for example in a specific references album, and then long touch and drag. Then I'm able to manipulate it, validate, and import others. If you go to another frame, it will automatically validate, and you can continue dragging your photos. And that's how you can import elements into Calipay.